My name is Peter Jordan, the English way. In the Bulgarian way, it's Petko Yurdanov. Well, I am a freelance uh, cameraman, photographer, video, uh, movie. Um, very much uh, into analog, though. Analog has been my passion in a while. I shot analog uh, film cameras for longer than I shot digital, pretty much. And I am not planning to give it up. No matter how many gigapixels come out there, I will still shoot analog in stills and in uh, motion picture. How did I discover how that, that passion? Yeah, that happened in, um, in the army when I was uh, doing, doing my duty in the 80s. I had a very uh, interesting conversation with uh, one of the fellow soldiers there. He was uh, actually looking at a magazine, a photographic magazine. So I came and sat next to him and asked him some questions. So what is he doing and what is this about? And he told me, ah, oh, this is, a, I'm into photography. Photography is interesting to me. This is a, a magazine. And he was looking at the portrait, a studio portrait. And he said, you know, just by looking at the picture, I can pretty much tell you how many light sources and what type of light sources are used to create that image. So I said, wow, you can, just by looking at the, at the picture. He said, pretty much. So that was, I suppose, the trigger that, uh, that got me interested. It was not uh, completely unfamiliar to me because I grew up in a cinema, basically. My father was a projectionist back home in, uh, in a small town I come from. So I grew up in a, in a projectionist cabin with this machinery, with the film, with my father projecting it, winding it back, fiddling with the knobs and things. The earlier ones he was using was actually with a chimney because it used a, a rod to create the light. But when the two of them come close enough with the high electricity, they create a spark, an arc. And that arc was used as a light source for the projector. And that, because it's a real burning of these rods, they needed to have a chimney also to take off the fumes. So when you enter the projectionist cabin, it's always that specific smell of the, <laughs> the light source that was burning this, uh, it's like a coal, basically. How do you go about the process of film? Well, obviously you have to have a film camera, you have to have a film, load the film to know how to load your camera. Some cameras are easier, others are more difficult to make sure your film is loaded properly to actually become uh, available as a tool for you to create images. And uh, then it's the next question whether your camera is very vintage and very old that needs all manual settings. For that you'll need a light meter as well to measure the light before you start shooting. And then of course uh, if you really want to um, connect um, with more of the art of photography, you need to understand the relationship between shutter speed, aperture, depth of field, and uh, the sensi sensibility of the film. In, uh, yeah, how long does it take the, to, to process the film? Well, um, yeah, as we know that uh, the image when it's exposed on the film, it's still hidden. If you take out the film on light to try and see it, you're gonna ruin your film. So in order to actually have the film revealed on the image, you have to develop it. And running through certain chemicals will finally reveal the image originally that is called latent on the film. Does the film expire? The film does expire, but it's not going to expire in two weeks. So you are without any worries within two weeks or even two months, not to worry if you can't develop your film immediately. Easily after two months, the film will not lose any of the image that is being uh, exposed on it. Well, I've shot uh, film in the past a lot in the 80s when it was the only media. With friends, we shot a lot of home movies with uh, 8 and Super 8 cameras. No, basically they were all Super 8. It was already in the 80s. The oldest camera I've got is a Kodak. Uh, I forgot the precise, because it doesn't have a name. It's, uh, it's a number that is uh, made in uh, 1912, I believe. It's a very large format camera. It's basically like a 4 by 5 inch camera, but it shoots on a raw film. 
So it's not on the plates like most of the 4x5 cameras, uh, like sheets of film. That one shoots on a roll of film that, that you cannot find and buy it, so that I can shoot with this camera, which still works, still works very fine. What do I consider art? A movie or a film that has art in it would be the one with the greatest, with the timeless message. To me, the moral of the motion picture would have to outweigh the technical machinery used to have a strong moral message that can talk to people, not just today, in the environment, in the political, whatever situation is, the, uh, the appropriate or the, um, the prevalent of the day, but to speak to people who may watch it in 10 or 100 years from now and still be relevant, that to me is incredibly important and I don't find a lot of movies to still carry that message.